everyone, it's Jan with What You Make It, and I am here to share a card that only exists in my mind. Um, by the time you see this, it will actually, hopefully, really exist, but I don't know, um, I don't know exactly where we're going with this. I know what my idea was. I have a couple of friends that are having birthdays um, later on this month, and they're both just precious, precious friends. They're girly girls, and I just want to do a card for each of them that is very reflective of who she is and how much she means to me. So I did a lot of um, looking on Pinterest last night and found that I really was drawn to these very pretty cards that are basically a white embossed background with a white frame and then some sort of scene or something created in it. And because this is my first one to kind of create this way, I'm going to probably try and keep it pretty simple. I'm using um, these dies. I have embossed my, let's start here. I've embossed my background with this Cuddlebug folder by Provocraft that is called the Cassie's Brocade. And it's just a very pretty, let me show you here, just a really pretty, embossing folder, very um, kind of like vintage wallpaper. And I think that it will be um, great for this background. One of the things that I've noticed is that for these kinds of cards that people are doing, um, they typically will use something that has a lot of embossing instead of just kind of swirls and that sort of thing. So I'm going to try that. And I think I've pinned some of these to my Pinterest board, so if you want to follow me over on Pinterest, you can kind of see where I got the inspiration for these. So I'm going to create a frame with this um, Spellbinders die, and I have run it through and embossed it, and I'm going to cut out the center section, I think, to make it an actual frame. I'm going to begin to move some of these things out of the way. For my greenery, I'm using two memory box dies. This one is called Lavish Branch, and this one is called Forget Me Not. But if you have a die cutting system like the Silhouette or um, the Cricut, you could probably cut out some greenery with that as well. Um, I'm just going to be using these. I've cut them out in a couple of colors because I don't really know what I'm what I'm going to do. For the flowers to go on here, I was looking for flowers that were about the size of the things that were kind of on this branch, and I found um, in my, this is a kind of a border, um, I think it's a, a border die by Memory Box, and it is called Floral Delights, and they seem to be about the right color. So I've cut those in three different colors. The first friend that I'm doing this for loves purple, so I'm going with three of Paper Tray Inks purples. I think this is Winter winter Wisteria, Royal Velvet, and Lavender Moon. I'm not going to be using any ink. I will um, stamp a sentiment on the inside at some point, but um, not going to do any, not even putting in sentiment on the outside. I know, kind of not my my normal, but I think it's going to be fun. I'm also going to use this memory box um, die called Butterfly Delights, and it gives you lots and lots of these teeny tiny, let's see if I can get one out here, just teeny tiny butterflies. I think that will be fun to have them kind of scattering on the card. So let me kind of get all this put away, and we'll get started trying to figure this card out, okay? So here is my frame, and if I had a rectangular Spellbinders die, I would probably use that to cut this out, but I don't. So I'm just going to use my ruler and mark where I want um, the frame to be. Here's my frame that I'm going to put on here, and I know that probably on camera there isn't a great sense of how cool the white on white is, but I'm loving it. I'm going to pop it up with some um, 
small strips of tape, this dimensional tape, and I will put those all the way around and I'll come back. Okay, so now I've got my dimensional adhesive all the way around and this will just lift it up and give it just a little bit of a shadow. Make sure we're kind of centered on here. Press it down. Okay, can you see? I like that tone on tone. Okay, so here is the branch that I'm wanting to put on here. That is pretty. And I don't want to um, I don't want to glue down every little bit here because I do want there to be some of that dimensionality in in the the leaves kind of lifting and being free to to move but I do want to give it you know two or three points that it can can really cling to and feel like it isn't going to fall off at the the first little gust of wind so I'm just going to put a few as we go so I'm going to put this aside I want to start working on our flowers and for that I am going to use my stylus and I just want to kind of press in the centers here. So I'm going to do this for several of my flowers. Build them up a little bit so you can see how I am working with the flowers. I put them on my mouse pad and I use my stylus and I push and twirl and that gets them to begin to kind of the it breaks the, the fibers in the paper down and and it causes them to be a little to take that dimensional shape which I think really makes all the difference a little bit smaller stylus for that one really good. So let me do a few of these and we'll be ready to start building our flowers. I have all my little flowers formed but I decided looking at it that I needed to have a couple of my little chickadees. You know I'm, these days I think I need a chickadee on any of these little little scenes so I'm going to stamp those real quick quickly. These are um, these little chickadee stamps and dies are by Impression Obsession and they're part of a birdhouse set that I'm going to work on doing something fun with this spring. But you all know that I've used these little little chickadees several times. I'm just going to quickly color them up. Just do a little bit of yellow on them. You know, for things to look good, sometimes you have to do make sure you've got plenty of contrast and that's that's what this W5 does for me is I remember now why I got it out. So now I'm just going to blend the, the rest of this in, color our little chickadees. They are cute, aren't they? I'm going to put this one down here, I think, and this one up here. That'll be sweet. I'm going to pop them up on a dimensional. So now let's put these flowers on here and I'm going to use my quick stick 
This is by Lifestyle Crafts. It has kind of this gummy substance in here and you can kind of squeeze it out and it will pick things up for you. So I want to start with Big Flower. So I'm going to put a little glue. Okay. Put glue on here and I'm was not bothered by the fact that I actually think these um, having the green of the the branch behind them actually makes them look pretty pretty cool. So I'm gonna get two or three larger flowers on here and then we'll fill in. Our card front and call that one done. It's very simple, but I love the color combo and I love the delicate look that this white on white engraved, I mean, embossed background and And then that frame. What do you think? I kind of like that. Let me take you in so you can get a good shot of it. Isn't that pretty? Sometimes simple is better, isn't it? I was thinking about putting a bow on here, but I really think it just, I need to just leave it there. So that's our card for today. I appreciate you coming and joining me and as always it's fun to have you in the studio when I'm just doing a little creative play. You all take care and have a great week. <music>